I made my decision from going from engineering to media because of passion. I used to have a passion for television and talking to people. And I loved math and science. And my dad was like, where are you going to get a good job? And it's, well, engineering was, but I did apply for engineering and journalism at the same time. And I thought engineering was the way to go. Plus I wanted to prove that girls can do it. I became an electrical engineer and there were six of us out of 80 males that we made it through the school four years of programming. So that's one of the things that I was really excited about. But media was something I've always wanted to do. There was this passion that was in me that I know this is where I wanted to go. So I did become an engineer. I got my PNG and then I went for what I really wanted to do. So I had the background. If I ever wanted to go back to engineering, I guess I could if I wanted to. Uh, but it, it, that's what it drove it was the fact that I just wanted to do something that I loved. I try to stay raw and real on social media as much as I can, but in my business, fashion is a big thing. So I love sharing fashion. I do makeup and hair. Like I'm all done today. I, I don't even know what I look like right now, but this is, this is what my life is in my career where I do get to dress up. So I show that aspect. I show my family aspect and my love for fitness and, and just living a healthy lifestyle is very important to me. But for me, I'm, I try to stay um, as real as possible. And the one thing you get to see is that I just have a lot of fun with life and anything that comes towards me, I take advantage of it and just have a great time with it. South Asian women. I've had this talk with some teenagers. Uh, just recently, I went to an, an event where I talked to a young girls who wanted to do something in their lives. And what was holding them back was their parents and this ideal world of where they're supposed to become doctors or they're supposed to become engineers or you know, there's still that mentality there and we need to change it. And I remember this one girl, she got up and she said, I wanna join the military. Blew my mind, a girl said she wanted herself to join the military, but her parents would not let her do it. And I thought, why not? At the end of the day, whose life are you living for? It's your life. There's a lot of people who are not letting their kids go into acting or making film director or something that's out of the box. It's time to change that. And especially with South Asian women, they're smart. They can do anything. My pink attitude in one word is be kind. Kindness takes you so far. You never know what people are going through. Always have a heart for someone else. If they're not treating you well, just take the perspective that things are going on into their lives. And, and being kind, I, I always use the hashtag smile on my Instagram and my social media. And I think if you smile at someone, it changes their day. Or even giving a hug or just giving that little bit of attention, it's really important to me. One of my mantra is that if you talk to someone new every day, you will learn something new every day. And that's something that I follow. I guess for the last 10, 15 years and I've been doing it. So just be kind.